child. I absolutely love this joke. This is adorable. Listen to this. Okay. A guy goes to a job interview at IKEA and the manager says, Welcome, come in and make a seat. <laughs> Get it? Make a seat. Mm. Oh, that was so cute. The kid came up with that. Oh, that's adorable. Mm. Okay. Anyway, first joke of the night. We have a German, a Japanese, and a Russian are all sitting naked in a sauna, and suddenly there's a beeping sound. Mm. The German pressed his finger to his forearm and the beep stopped mm. and the others look at him like weird and he said oh i i have an embedded smartwatch he said germany has the smartest engineers in the world and i've had one of their devices placed under the skin of my forearm hmm. oh that's pretty impressive all right a few minutes later a phone rang a japanese guy lifted his palm to his ear and when he finished, he explained, that's my mobile phone. Japan has the smartest engineers in the world. And I had one of the mobile systems placed inside my hand. All right. Then the Russian felt decidedly low tech, but not to be outdone. He decided he had to do something just as impressive. And he exited the bathroom stall and returns a few seconds later with a piece of toilet paper hanging from his behind. The others, they stare <laughs> at him and they tell him, oh, looks like my fax finally arrived. <laughs> These are three blondes. This is a blonde joke. Some of mm. sorry, I cut, I cut and paste this over. incorrectly. Mm. All right. Three over. blondes died. Three blondes died. They all go to heaven and they meet St. Peter. And the first blonde goes, St. Peter goes to the first blonde. He says, I have a question. If you get it right, you get into heaven. Answer wrong, <laughs> and we can't let you in. His first blonde, he says, goes up the first blonde. He goes, What is Easter? And the first blonde says, That's the time of year. When our whole family gets together and we eat turkey. <laughs> All, right. All right. So Peter goes up to the next blonde. He goes, what is Easter? And she goes, that's the time of year when the fat, jolly guy comes down the chimney mm. and our family gets together and we open presents. Mm. Oh. And Peter goes, oh, for God's sake. All right. Goes up to the third blonde. He goes, what is Easter? And she goes, that's when Christ died and they put him in a tomb behind a rock. And St. Peter goes, that's right. Right. And, it and the blind continues, right. And once a year, we roll the stone away and he comes out. And if he sees a shadow, we get six more weeks. <laughs> oh, I love that one. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Okay. okay. All right. I'm going to give you one more short one. And then um, I'll hand it off to uh, Emperor, the Emperor. Bow to the Emperor, Emperor oh, Brady. Hail the Emperor. All hail the Emperor, yes. By the way, what is the only place on Earth that still has an Emperor? Does anyone know? Mm, uh, yeah, I do. <laughs> a, ruling, a ruling Emperor, like officially. Like, there's a lot of people that unofficially refer themselves as an Emperor, but they're not regarded as such, like dictators and whatnot. I was going to suggest uh, Antarctica. Yeah, yeah it's Japan. <laughs> <laughs> Brayden's right. It's Japan. Sorry, mm -hmm. Jay, that was me who said that. Yeah. I, stole, I stole that from. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, you got it from Randy. <laughs> yeah. But you here's you, you here's the weird the thing. Difference between Warren and Brayden, boy. Oh, uh, okay. Jesus. I heard. I I didn't hear you, Randy, but I heard. I heard. Sorry, Lauren. Uh, but I heard Brayden say it. But get a little of this. Any kind of ruling body that serves an emperor is referred to as a diet, right? Mm. And, but it's spelled diet. Mm. And the thing is, if you're actually now, I'm not making this up. If you go through downtown Tokyo and you find the parliamentary building for uh, for uh, all of Japan in downtown Tokyo, it has in English letters "diet" on the front, and everyone thinks it's a health building because oh, it's diet. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, swear to God, I'm not making that up. Okay, that's funny though. All right, um, here's one. It's about math. Right. This kid, he fails his math test. Right. And he goes home. The dad is upset with him. And the dad said, son, if I had 50 cents for every math test you failed, I swear to God, I'd have like three dollars and 20 cents. Mm. <laughs> you have to think about that one. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All 